Top story, the Burley County Commission casted their votes yesterday on whether to stop accepting refugees. As Robert Sir explains, after hours of heated testimony and more questions than answers at times, the Burley County Commission voted last night to approve refugee resettlement in 2020. After four hours of testimony, the final vote took just seconds. Commissioner Peluso, with no more information than I came with tonight, no. Commissioner Armstrong? Yeah, I vote aye. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Woodcox? Yes. Commissioner Bittner? No. Motion carries. The 3 2 vote by the Burley County Commission will continue to allow refugees to settle in Burley County. Over 400 people were in attendance Monday night at Horizon Middle School to voice their opinion for or against resettlement. Let's help them become productive citizens. What is the strength of the United States, Commissioners? It is our diversity. Count the homeless people sitting on the benches. The bench right in front of the city hall. Mostly Native Americans. A couple of veterans. Why aren't we taking care of them? They're here already. They're here now. As the hours ticked by, tempers started to grow short between the commission and the overflow crowd. It should be embarrassing to every one of us that this thing has degenerated into some sort of name calling and, and racism thing and anything else like that. We're better than that, folks. This community does not need that divisive bull okay? Some of the most passionate testimony came from refugees themselves who pleaded their case to the commission and the crowd. We are not coming to North Dakota to rob anybody. Hell, we have been robbed of our childhood. We have been robbed of a lot of things. We have starved, we have seen wars, we have suffered, we have been hungry. So coming to North Dakota is a privilege. And I tell you tonight, don't be selfish. Open your doors to us because we have seen a lot. We have been through a lot. And we only come into North Dakota because we want to survive. We work, we do the work as immigrants, we do the work as refugees to move this country. And what makes America great is the diversity that we have. People talk about taking care of their own. In North Dakota today, we have the highest societal rate of young people. Those refugees make our kids here well-rounded. While the vote allows refugees, there is a catch. The commission capped the number of accepted refugees next year to just 25, while mandating Lutheran Social Services to provide a report on where the refugees are coming from and the progress they are making. Commissioner Jerry Woodcox voted in favor of resettlement and tells me it's been a busy couple of weeks. I think I had 600 emails in the last three or four days. And initially it was 90-10 uh, against having the refugee program. The last two days it swung completely around at 70 or 80, 30, 80 in favor of having a refugee program. So uh, it was not an easy decision, but one we had to make, and I'm glad it's done, and we're over with it. I spoke with one refugee who tells me Burley County avoided a major black eye Monday night in the eyes of the world. It showed that we have a sign of unity, being togetherness. It doesn't matter of your background, your, your religion, or who you are. We are coming together as a community. That's what it showed tonight. We are united at one. Burley County is the final county in North Dakota allowing consent for refugees as Cass County and Grand Forks County approved consent earlier this month. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Robert Sir. Now, Republican State Representative Rick Becker and Bismarck Mayor Steve Bakken voiced their concerns at last night's meeting, citing a lack of control and the potential new costs of supporting refugees as reasons to vote against consent.